Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, uh, I've got a game review this time around, and uh, it's a game that I've brought on my Xbox 360, however it is available on uh, the PS3 as well. And the game in question is GTA 4. GTA 4 is a groundbreaking and controversial game. It was released in 2008, so it's a couple of years ago now, we're in 2014 as I'm sure you know, and uh, in that time GTA 5 has been released. Since GTA 4's release, it has become an instant classic. GTA 4 is a lot like Grand Theft Auto 3. However, it does have big upgrades. These including the graphics, the gameplay, the environment, the soundtrack, the physics, and of course voice acting, which in previous games um, wasn't really done or done well even, even when it was done. You play as a new to the country uh, character, and that character I um, don't know if you can see it, but it's the guy in the main center of uh, the cover. And that guy's character, who you play as, is Nico Bellic. As the user of the game, you don't know where the main protagonist comes from. All you do know is that he comes from an Eastern European country. Nico has had some hard times back in his home country, uh, fighting in the war. That's why he's come to America, the land of opportunity, and the land of the free, and home of the brave, and all that. And that's what appealed to Nico, that's why he's come over to America. Pretty much as soon as Nico gets into the country, he does find himself getting into a lot of trouble. He is the sort of guy who's always tired. Um, there are several court scenes where he does complain of being tired and fed up. And he also has bad taste in clothes. So thankfully when you do get enough money, you can buy some decent clothes for the guy because he's got some bad taste. Nico does not come across as a bad guy. However, he does do bad things. The missions are basic. Go here, kill a load of bad guys, escape the bad guys, outrun the police, return to the guy who originally sent you on that mission, and simply repeat for several different characters. This is not a bad point, really. Um, the missions are pretty basic, they're straightforward. Some are tough, some are easy, some are fun, some are interesting, some are challenging. Like I say, it's not a bad point. However, GTA 4 is one of the greatest games ever made, in my opinion anyway. Grand Theft Auto 4 is a massive open world game. It's got bad language, a plenty, a ton of vehicles to drive and destroy, these including cars, bikes, helicopters, and there aren't any planes, uh, and there's also boats as well. You can buy properties as Nico. You can make a lot of friends along the way, friends and girlfriends. There are a ton of collectibles, it's a long story, I mean it's taken me, when I did have the game, uh, it's taken me probably days upon days of solid gameplay. You do get sidetracked by the side missions and collectibles and friends and all that. There's also jumps to do, dotted around the map there are several jumps, these you know, can be rewarded. There are, like I have mentioned, just a load of side missions. You can save cars, so it's not just steal a car and, you know, it disappears you can save a vehicle and you know return to it whenever you want there are races on land sea and air plus a lot more including online death matches races capture the flags of all sorts online however with everything that is great there are negatives one negative being that your cousin constantly rings you up wanting to go bowling and do something that gets a bit annoying and the physics of the game there are silly little things in the game that Nico will interact with and the physics of the game um, let's say aren't exactly on your side. Silly things like could be running along, trip up on the curb, fair enough, but then the physics take it way out of control and he'll stumble and bash his head into a building. Things like that have happened to me. When I've been driving in the car, you'll be driving along you want to make a turn, you'd nudge the curb and you'd just fly off and once again crash into a wall. There's times when you've been having a fight as well and you'd be having a fist fight, you'd go to hit the player and they just crumble. Bit wrong, doesn't really happen in real life. And one major factor as well was stairs. I've noticed on several times running up or down the stairs that the physics can be a little against you. If you run too fast down the stairs and your trip stumble, fall and you know, you'll take your time getting up. Same with even going up the stairs. 
So, as great a game it is, I did notice a lot of the physics in the game were a bit shoddy. But, all negative aside, Grand Theft Auto 4 is an awesome open world action adventure, violent, gunslinging, car chasing, crooked cops and gangs and people who are twisted and then there's Nico. He's a good guy who's fallen on bad times, come to America for a better life and stumbles into the wrong crowd. It's a great game if you've played especially the uh, third person Grand Theft Auto games and I think you'll love this. Um, if you've played GTA 5 you've gone straight to that. Fair enough. You know, pick this one up. I'm sure it's cheap enough now. Um, but it's like, you know, where did GTA 5 come from? This is where it came from. One of the stepping stones. Before you could only be one character. So see what that's like if you've only had GTA 5. But Grand Theft Auto 4, love it. It's a great game. Never going to trade it in. Time to time I do enjoy it. Negatives are that the physics are a bit shoddy and your cousin keeps calling you up going to socialise. But apart from that, Grand Theft Auto 4, love it. So guys, thanks for watching my review of Grand Theft Auto 4. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Also, as per usual, I mention them every time. Don't forget, and We The Devoted, links are down below. Toby WTD, don't forget, 20% off any We The Devoted gear. But thank you guys for watching my review of Grand Theft Auto 4. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.